Thanks for watching. Today we're going to have a quick chat about counterbalance shafts. What are they? Uh, what they do? What they can do for your game? So the basic um, premise of a counterbalance shaft is that the balance point and where this shaft will balance is closer to the handle. Okay, And so there's more mass, uh, there's more weight at the handle end compared to say a conventionally uh, balanced shaft. So that's what we call a counterbalanced or a high balance point shaft. Now if I put a conventional shaft uh, like Atmos Black uh, 6X, this is in, in a, a Sim Max driver, 45 inches, put on the swing weight scale, you'll see that if you come in here nice and close, you can see its swing weight's in a D3.2, okay? That's playing 45, just a Golf Pride Tour Velvet 360 grip, no papers. Okay, so if now we grab, for example, a Tensei Orange, which is a counterbalance shaft, or a high balance point shaft, and we're gonna put it in to the same head, Sim Max, it's the same length shaft, both uh, playing 45. Um, just quickly screw it down and in. And then we'll put it on the swing weight scale And you can see it's C9.4. Okay, so we're gonna get about three swing weights of difference. Three to four, just depends on the shaft. But you get a lighter swing weight with something that's counterbalanced. Now, why do this? Why have lighter swing weights? There's, there's, a, few, there's a few reasons why you can do it. Uh, number one is, is more speed. Okay, so if you want that club moving faster, sometimes that lighter swing weight is gonna create more speed for you. Um, the other thing is uh, with, with modern day drivers, they're getting so long. So this could be made uh, another half inch will pick us up three swing weights and go from 9.4 to about D2.4. Okay, so we can make this play 45 and a half as is um, and still swing weight in that D2, D3 mark, okay. So longer drivers, these days the drivers are getting longer, that, that counterbalance shaft will help you make it longer, okay? And then the third thing, you know, the reason why we've seen more and more of these come out is that, is that the heads are getting heavier, okay? So something like this Sim Max head, it's not, it's not particularly heavy. You can see it's only swing rating at C9.4 with the counterbalance. But this, the, the Sim Max head is, We'll just throw it on the scales here. You can see there, with, with screwing in 193.8 grams, okay? So that's fairly light for modern standards. My driver head's only 190 grams, but uh, a sim might be um, three or four grams heavier. You get something like a ping, and it's 206 grams. So you imagine the effect of swing weight then, it's gonna get really, really heavy. Now, heavy heads means more forgiveness. Okay, that's the basic reason why uh, we're making heads heavier, higher MOI, moment of inertia, getting the weight back, heavier heads. So the need for these, these counterbalance style shafts is becoming more and more as the heads get heavier, we get higher ball speeds. So, um, it's something to always consider when you're getting a shaft or getting a new shaft. Is it going to work? Is it going to swing weight properly? Um, you know, what length do we need to make it? You know, is the head too heavy, too light or whatnot? There's so much to think about, but that's basically the basic premise of what we call a counterbalance. It's not like a putter, right, where we, where we can counterbalance, you know, with, with, with either a super stroke style grip or, or little counterweights in the end. That will help reduce swing weight, help, help increase stability at the handle end. Uh, that's what we use in, in a, you know, sometimes in a putter, something like that. Um, but, but certainly in the, in the drivers, there's nothing in that shaft. It's just made with more mass at this end. Um, there's, there's far more mass at this end. Whereas, uh, you know, a traditionally weighted shaft like Atmos Black, um, I mean, this is 69. Uh, Tensei Orange 67, you know, in theory they should 
swing weight about the same, but uh, at the same length, you see the same length, um, but nowhere near each other. So that's the basic rundown of, of what a counterbalance shaft is. So if you've got any questions, let me know. Uh, thanks for watching today's video. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure you click on like and subscribe. Let us know if there's anything else you'd like to see, and we'll see you in the next video.